Hello, welcome back to IT Lundy Nugget Courses. This is session number three for Azure Dev Kit for Azure Stack. Previously, in session one, we covered Azure Stack Dev Kit who, what, where, when, and why somebody will be interested in utilizing this tool. And then we went to session two, we gave an overview the architecture interaction between the layers, hardware requirements, software requirement, and so on. And for today, we will jump into third part, which is deployment task. We understand what is needed, how we can deploy it, and where. So let's start. The dev kit, basically, we mentioned earlier, it's for uh, not for production readiness, but however, deployment uh, checker for Azure Stack uh, Kit. It will allow us, it's a PowerShell script basically, you can see the gallery where you can obtain it. It's from, uh, you can see pre-validation of your ASDK environment. Go to gallery.technet.microsoft.com, deployment, and then hyphen checker, hyphen for this, you know, you can see the number. Or you can basically, uh, again, Google it. Google the name, it will lead, lead you to the same path, yeah? If you check for the uh, validate pre-validation of ASDK environment. It goes to PowerShell and validate for you the environment and readiness. And if you have any issues, you can see some examples how that will look like, the support, you know, again, there are some uh, links and that will highlight for you what is needed. Assuming you have all the minimal requirements, we covered that on the previous session, yeah? Which means uh, we have the RAM, CPU, the hardware is certified, then that should be passing across yeah so uh basically i was planning to have a demo for you but uh let's be at the moment then this is the uh, you know you can invoke azure stack deployment precheck.ps1 which is the powershell i was referring to and i'm just like gonna play it for you there we go that should basically go to you know you can browse uh, then you can run it and then it says validate and you can choose one and then two it goes and it validates all the basically uh, prereq for you and then after that it will basically check RAM, cpu as i said earlier the host whatever we covered the earlier session they all pass through hopefully you don't have any issues but you can see like 16 core i've got more ram here and i've got like os version and you know like and so on yeah all of these settings the previous link it will go through and it will validate it for you next I will move on to basically Azure Stack DevKit uh, tool itself. Like, you know, this is auto uh, automated installation via the GUI. Again, look, Azure, github.com, Azure Stack, hyphen tools, tree, master, and you can get a PowerShell script from there, yeah? This is PowerShell script will allow us the, to automate the deployment of our DevKit, yeah? Assuming the previous one, we run the PowerShell to validate my hardware, is ready to host the dev kit and next is another powershell you can read the title asdk installer.ps1 that will allow me to install dev kit you need to specify username and password and as an admin and then next 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 and that will basically install it for you when i say next 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 because it's a powershell so i assume you have the variable ready and you just need to feed the variable otherwise you know, through the GUI, just like a couple of next, and then that should be it. Hopefully, when you install it, then you can get the, you know, uh, the last screen. It just says there you will be uh, completing the deployment, which will take two to three minutes. Okay. And again, this is the automation through uh, GUI SDK, and this is the uh, PowerShell to achieve that. That's all what I have for you for today. It's around the installation. Next one, we, what we will be doing is uh, we will cover the uh, deployment task and tooling. We are trying to keep uh, the topic separated, but rather than having very lengthy uh, sessions. So at least if you are interested in de deploying, you can go and you can view, um, you know, go to the, uh, like earlier we mentioned that, that, that the demo, how you can run the script. You see the power script and that will basically uh, run the prereq, making sure everything's ready, and then you deploy it. After you deployment, we the next session we're going to cover uh, how you can do the uh, configuration and the task around the tooling. 
hopefully you have uh, learned something useful uh, today session number four we will cover the deployment task and tooling thank you for watching and goodbye for now